Today we're getting a little geeky. Today we're going to talk about math. Only in the beginning, but the whole subject is about getting your clients or your prospective clients to invest in you and to buy from you. I can't think of a more important uh, broadcast to have. So uh, today, that's what we're going to cover. And by the end of this, you'll walk away with three things you can actually do in your business to, uh, to start getting clients or getting your prospective clients to see the value in you and to invest in you and then to buy from you. So I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your uh, expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit-generating business based on your purpose. So today, I wanted to talk a little math. So I'm not going to get too techy, um, because math is not my favorite subject either. But I'm going to, uh, I think this is a very important subject that many people don't think about. But in the end, it's really the whole thing about your business. It's what most business owners are concerned with because uh, we're going to talk about the lifetime value of your clients. So uh, today, okay, so I'm going to introduce a term to you that may or may not be familiar. And it's the marginal net worth. The marginal net worth is actually the lifetime value of your clients. So, you know, regardless if you sell one program or three, if you're thinking like a business owner, you're not thinking you're a fly-by-night business owner. You're actually thinking, I'm in this for the long haul, which means that um, when you meet people, like when you're networking and everything, and they come into your circle, your circle of influence, and they turn out to be your ideal um, prospective clients, your goal is to not cipher as much money as you can out of them. That's where the mindset of sleazy selling comes in. But it's actually, how can I serve these people? Because in actuality, that marginal net worth that lifetime value of your client means that somebody that comes into your life that is going to pay you money is actually valuable. I know. It's not something that you normally think about um, because, you know, you're trying to think, how can I make them see my value? You know, I'm, I'm important. But in actuality, uh, the most important person in the room is the, or are the people that you serve. And so your goal, uh, when you look at the marginal net worth of your, of your clients, is to understand how valuable they are. You know, how much will they buy from you um, in the future? If, like I said, whether you have one program or three or you have 10 different products, each and every person that comes in, into your business um, starts as a paying client. So this is very interesting, but I've mentioned this before, and you may not think this, but many people, many of my business friends that I meet say, you know, I have a lot of people, they, they learn from me, but they're not buying from me. But in actuality, they are. They may not be paying you with green money, but they're actually paying you with their attention and time, which, um, you know, as, as a human, uh, I know my time is uh, the, the, the greatest value to me because without my time, I can't do anything. So if they're actually spending time trying to learn from you, they're actually paying you right now. And if you're not recognizing that, that could be a reason why they're not investing in you and buying from you. So your goal is to... Uh, so the, what you need to do is, in actuality, if they are paying you with their attention you actually have to pay them too. I know. In any transaction, it's, it's a two-way conversation. In actuality, um, if they're paying you with their time, you are actually needing to pay them with your value. When you go and you teach and you share and you inspire, 
That's how you are investing in them. And in actuality, you know, that's what marketing is. A business that is run that understands the value of their client understands that it's a two-way investment. And because of that, one person needs to actually invest uh, in the other first. And you would think, oh, well, I just want them to buy from me. In actuality, they're not just going to buy from you unless you invest in them first. So I hear many people say, you know, I, I feel undervalued and, you know, I, um, uh, I'm just giving away all this stuff for free and no one's buying from me. Well, in actuality, like I just said, you need to invest in, even if you, if you, if you have no audience, let's just say you have no audience, which I, I think would be rare. You at least have like one person. Um, you need to make the investment into your marketing. You need to understand who your ideal clients are and then understand what marketing speaks your value the best. So like Facebook Live, um, writing, you know, um, uh, guest posting, doing something like that, that will display, whatever displays your value, then you go and you teach, you share, you, you put it out there. That's called investing in your prospective clients. Then as people come on board, you start to notice, you know, who, who actually is paying attention to me? How much attention are they paying to me? What other steps can I take to actually invest in them more? Do I need to reach out to them and like uh, actually uh, have a conversation with them? Should I ABI and invite them to something like a Facebook group that I have? You, you want to lead them down this path. Like I said, it's a two-way investment. So it's kind of like you give, they give, you give, they give. That's just marketing 101. Okay, so uh, the goal of this, and this will transform your money mindset forever, is to stop thinking about it as I need these people to pay me. I need them to buy from me. You're what, what I believe, especially for um, the intelligent and purpose-driven people that I speak to, you need to shift the paradigm of how you see your business instead of, and how you see your clients. Instead of seeing them with a big dollar bill on their head, you need to shift the paradigm of what you do in your business to a place of service. You are there to serve your prospective ideal clients and when you can shift the paradigm in your head it changes the game so you know what this is really about is that if your business is positioned correctly it should mean that your business is positioned based on your passions and your strengths so these are things that come naturally to you these are things that you love to talk about you could go on and on for days when I hear people say, I don't know what to speak about, I don't know what to do, you know, I'm afraid of video. When your business is positioned correctly, that means that you have a message that inspires you, that you can't hold inside of you. When your business is, is beautiful, like you put all your passions into it, if you're multi-passionate, whatever it is, you know, if you don't, if you don't wake up every day with a message inside of you that makes you want to jump out of bed, then there's something wrong with your business. So when, if you have that, then shift the paradigm about how you think about earning money to a place of service. So what you do every day, and this is how you get very good at, uh, at consistent marketing, is that you stop thinking about it as marketing. You start thinking about it as how can I serve my BBS. How can I share so much value that they can move to a place of change? And so when you do your marketing as a uh, service-based business, regardless if you even sell products, this is about you know having something that serves your, um, your ideal clients and your audience, is that you want to share. You want to share so much information 
that they walk away and they can go and implement change the minute they get off. Regardless, if you are like really good at like, you know, talking mindset strategies, then that's what you do. If you're really good at helping people make decisions, then that's what you need to do. If your audience is struggling with a certain problem and you're really good at solving it, then every day you need to get up and say, how can I solve that even? I'm going to write, I'm going to say this statement and I feel as though you may want to re-listen to this and write this down later. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of going to read it because I, I don't want to miss it. But uh, in life, uh, we are paid for the value that we create for others, the problems we solve, and the opportunities we create. In life, we are paid for the value we create for others, for the problems we solve, and the opportunities we create. So I want you to really absorb that and know that just because you create a program, just because you have a product and just because you do like an ad or something and you put it out there, if, if nobody is buying or if you're feeling undervalued, it could be that you're not giving enough. You're not giving enough value. And so while that seems like, um, but I am, but you're not then, then, then maybe your message is slightly skewed. Maybe you're speaking to the wrong audience. You know, life is an experiment and business is a big experiment. You're an entrepreneur. You've never done this before. And every day is a new day. And so if people aren't buying from you, if they, it doesn't mean you need to be more visible. It actually means that you need to find that thing inside of you that's going to understand the issues and problems that, that your audience and uh, prospective clients are going through, the opportunities that you can create for them, and then you need to get over yourself and get out there and share it in a way that they can hear you. So, you know, I often hear people say, but I'm, you know, I'm getting out there, I'm doing my work, but then you spend all day on Facebook, that's not doing your work. <laughs> and quite honestly, um, you know, I hear people say, well, it's kind of, I feel sleazy, you know, uh, networking and doing things like that. So they go and they hang out in Facebook groups. I can't think of a more like, uh, vapid and, uh, and kind of, um, just weird way to have a business, uh, that then hanging out somewhere, it's like going to McDonald's and thinking that someone's then going to go and ask you for a date. Or going to McDonald's and waiting for that cute guy to walk in. I don't know what cute guy would go into McDonald's, but okay. I don't even know why I named that place. But, you know, okay, going to, to Starbucks and uh, thinking that they, you're going to wait for that cute guy to walk in. Then you're going to hone in on him and put your little, you know, lipstick on and everything. Or if you're a man, you know, get really manly. That's not the way it works either. And that's kind of like, uh, if you really dumb it down, what Facebook groups are like. If, you, if that's where you think you're going to get clients to prove your value. In actuality, you know, marketing is not something difficult. If you can shift the paradigm to what you do to a place of service, you understand who your BBF, your best business friend, ideal clients are. And you know why you understand who they are, what they need, and the problems they, they are going through the opportunities they need. You know why you know that? You know that because your business is positioned correctly and you've gone through those problems too. You recognize that you are human, that you not only think about your problems, but you have other problems too. You have money issues. You have um, you know, fights with your, with your partner. You have uh, laundry to do, you know, kids screaming in the background. Regardless of what you do, you're human. And so are your BBFs. And so when you can speak from a place of understanding at a deep level, so much so that when you understand your client's pain, you want to cry. 
So I posted something on my Facebook page today. It was a, 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 a testimonial quote from uh, one of my former clients. And you can read it on my page. I'm not going to talk about it because it's going to make me cry. But, uh, you know, when I worked with her, I, I totally got her pain. Not only because she was in tears, but because um, I, I, I knew what she was going through because I had been through it too in my way past. And I recognized she didn't even speak it out loud because it was that uh, painful for her. But I recognized the whole situation because I had been through it too. And so when your business is positioned correctly and you're working with the right people, um, you'll understand it at such a deep level that it'll bring emotion inside of you. Emotion equals value. And I want you to write that um, on your computer. A big sticky that emotion equals value. And if, if you need to uh, get paid for the value that you create through the problems you solve and the opportunities you, you create for people, then uh, you need to understand that emotion so that you can understand how to teach, what to teach, um, and, and how to market it. And again, this all goes back down to positioning. So now I'm going to tell you three things that you can do right, right after this, um, this, set, this session, <laughs> this live stream, and so that you can uh, get seen for the value you are and, and have people buy from you. So number one is you need to distinguish yourself from the competition. This goes back to positioning again, but you need to distinguish yourself from the competition because... If you are just doing exactly what everyone else is doing, and what I'm going to say on that is, as Jim Rohn said, there are no original business ideas. So you, I'm 100% sure, are doing something exactly like somebody else, except they're not you. And so if all you're doing is selling what you're selling, and you're not, uh, you don't understand your secret sauce, your positioning, then uh, you, you're just going to be betting against on price because there are a million other people doing the exact same thing that you're doing. And I'm not saying that to be mean, but the, if you can't distinguish yourself from other people, then it comes down to price. If I go to CVS to buy a battery, is there a difference between Duracell and uh, the other battery? I can't even think of the name because I, I actually, so I used to think there was no difference until I bought the other one. It begins with an E. I can't think of the name right now. But uh, it sucks. Like the battery life just doesn't last. I think it's called Everlast or something. But Duracell is so much better. But when I go to the store, there's no difference in the packaging. You know, there's no difference. So it can, they compete on price. You know, which one's on sale more? Well, now I know which one is of higher value. But just like those batteries, um, you want to not just be uh, a battery on a shelf. You want to be glowing. You want to be the sparkly battery. So that's distinguishing yourself with your positioning. When your business is positioned correctly, you speak to a different audience. You know who your ideal clients are and specifically, and you know the specific problem you solve. So, you know, I help people discover their value. And by discovering what your expertise, you know, what you, what you actually sell and your life experience, how, how, to, how to understand how your challenges have turned into actually your powerful uh, message, no one else can do that. I just have this gift for it. And, um, you know, I, I don't know how I... Came, well, I, I do know. I, it's all my years of, of working with hundreds of stores in the shopping center industry, um, being a great copywriter, uh, me having my own personal challenges. I get it. I mean, I don't know. I'm just very good at it. I will brag boldly about that. <laughs> but you also have something that's very good about you. And the more that you can identify that and speak that, the more that you will distinguish yourself and not be competed against uh, other people in price. 
Because I'll tell you, when I meet my BBF ideal clients and they're the right ones, price is not even an issue. I say it and then it's like, okay, uh, you know, at the most it's taken like 24 hours and then it's like they, they, they know that I'm the one. And does that work with everybody? I mean, that with everyone I talk to? No, because I don't serve everybody, but I do know who I do serve. So number two, the second thing you could do right after this call is establishing your highest value to your BBF ideal clients. So this, this can be a kind of confusing thing for people because you think, you know, so, you know, I'm a business strategist, so you would think I would just go and talk business. But in actuality, my highest value is not the fact that I'm a business strategist. My highest value is the fact that what I just said about uncovering um, and turning people's challenges into um, their opportunities, into their powerful message, uh, into their positioning. So if I were just, just to get up and do my marketing based on what I do, that's not my highest value. And so, again, I'd be competing on price. Your highest value is, in fact, the challenges that you've been through. Because, as I just said, value equals, or emotional, emo, emotions equal um, value. So, the more that you can deliver an emotional experience, only found through the emotional experiences that you yourself know personally, because, I, you know, you can't, you can't deliver or speak emotion unless you actually have it, unless you're a very good actor and, you know, I don't know, then you should go and be on uh, the big screen. But, uh, you know, emotion lives inside of you. And so that's your highest value. And so when you can communicate and establish your highest value to your audience and your, your prospective ideal clients, that's when you start to affect, uh, market yourself effectively and help have people understand your value. Because in fact, when you deliver that emotional experience, you're helping other people understand their value. As I said, it's a two-way investment. And if you're just joining on, you need to go back to the beginning um, after this and listen to it because it, it, it's all tying together. We started with math, and now we're talking about, you know, value. So, <laughs> um, okay, so the third thing is, is that you need to understand your relative value. So I know everyone's thinking, oh, you know, I have so much competition. I have all these people. And your relative value in actuality, um, you know, get out of your own head. Your relative value to your ideal clients, your prospective ideal clients, is uh, your relative value to them in what else is going on in their life. So you understand that they're human and that they're just like you. And even though they have a problem that you solve, they also have other problems. They have other opportunities. They have a life. And, uh, and they have other challenges that are actually keeping them from buying from you. And so your marketing needs to be a powerful mix of establishing your value, distinguishing yourself, um, and, and, and helping them understand your value within their um, value frame. This is what I talked about yesterday. So if you missed that video, it's on my, uh, it will be on my YouTube channel. It's not yet. But um, uh, so yesterday I talked about um, uh, teaching people uh, the lens in which you want them to see. You actually like your positioning is creating a new lens. Just how you go to like you go to lens crafters and they're like measuring your eyes. Your positioning measures your value, and then it puts it into you know your pretty glasses. And then when you meet your prospective clients, you say, "Here, wear these," <laughs> and then they actually uh, can see from your lens. And you both are then looking at the same vision. But that takes you being able to paint that, that pretty picture. And how you do that is with positioning. I mean, as you can see, everything that your solid foundation in your business rests on your positioning. It's not about Facebook. It's not about uh, even marketing. 
if you don't have your positioning, your business is, it just falls amongst the crowd. Positioning will make you stand out. So if you don't have it, you need to go and find someone that, that can show you your positioning. I might not be the person, but I do have a program that I just created. So if I'm not, you know, because uh, again, I don't serve everybody, but I want you to understand that positioning is at the root of everything. So whoever it is that you, that you can find that does positioning, if it's not me, you need to find it or find it yourself. So in actuality, if you want to take that route, I have a free class and it, it was actually yesterday, it was a webinar. I call them genius sessions because that term is so horrific. Anyway, but uh, so I have my genius session and I'm actually sending out the replay so you're in luck. If you're watching this on Friday, uh, August 12th, um, I am sending out the replay to anyone that signs up for it uh, tomorrow. So if you want to sign up, it's at positioned.totalgenius.net. Uh, I would also recommend you sign up for the seven day challenge where I can then help you in the group. Uh, and if you have signed up for that seven day challenge and you're not participating in the group, you're not going to get the highest value from it. But listen to this, um, to my genius session. It's only going to be available, uh, till Sunday. So, uh, I would listen to it fast. And then I created a program. If you actually want to come and work with me, it's called position to sell total net. You can find it. Uh, you know, I posted something on it on my Facebook page, uh, today. And, uh, you know, if you want to explore that further, but it's a very deep dive into your positioning, um, you get a, uh, a workbook, uh, a deep dive workbook. You get a two hour one-on-one, -on -one, uh, session with me. Um, and you get a, the complete guide to high converting copywriting secrets, uh, guide. You get a sales guide to understand how your clients and your own brain, uh, and mind work in your business. You also get, uh, let's see what else. There's so much. Oh, you get a webinar template based on how the mind works. So it's not like some, you know, what the other people are teaching. It's actually like based on how to get past people's fear brains and have them uh, then start learning from you and understanding your value. Uh, and then in addition to that, you get a, um, a whole email template funnel so that you can um, understand all the emails that go out before your webinar, after your webinar, to sell your product, after you sell your product. Um, and then if you sign up before Tuesday, uh, that would be the 16th of August, 2016, um, you get an extra 45 minute bonus session with me. So, you know, if you would like to explore that further, uh, please go check out position to sell .net. Uh, I would re listen to this whole broadcast and take notes because if there's one thing I want you to walk away from is to write this down on your wall or on your computer is that in life you get paid for the value you create the problems you solve, and the opportunities you create. So that should be the foundational message in your business to yourself every day. How can I share my value? Who needs my help? Who needs to hear my voice? How can I help you? How can I help you not go through the pain that I went through? How can I help you, you know, do whatever? Shift the paradigm of how you think about making money. And I promise you, you will get paid for your value. That's it. Uh, uh, my neighbor is outside and she, um, her dad passed away a couple days ago. So I want to go walk with her. So, uh, uh, you know, if you come join me at the Genius Collective, uh, you know, check out the links for my programs. I would love to, um, to help you in your business. And uh, we listen to this because I think this is actually one of my best broadcasts that I've done. So um, thank you very much. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net. Remember, the replay is going out tomorrow if you want to sign up. Uh, it's not too late at positioned.totalgenius.net. 
check out my new program, Position to Sell, .totalgenius.net. And I uh, love you guys. I don't think I'm going to be on tomorrow because L.A. is having their first football game in like 20 years. And I don't watch football, but I want to honor the Rams. Anyway, have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later.